church or whatever, it's filled with curiosity. That's the good thing. Human desire. Everybody, everybody in the world has a UFO story and knows somebody else who does. So it's a common link between us all. But it is filled with charlatans, kooks, freaks, and schizophrenics. Sure, you could say that. Mainly it's filled with good intended people who are curious too. But having people like George over 35 years, you know, not make a major mistake, report the news, break stories open. I'm grateful for that because it makes my job a lot easier. I can filter the bullshit much faster. So I'd say, yes, it sucks. There's a lot of kooks and crazy people in this field. But mainly there's a lot of curious people who are good intended. I'm encouraged by what's happened in the last couple of years. I mean, not only the information coming out of the government, because it's a little more solid than what you typically get from UFO people, but also by the new wave of people who are now interested. Because of your show, because of what's happened since the New York Times story, there's a whole new generation of people who are suddenly waking up and paying attention to it and are reading all the books and trying to figure this stuff out for themselves and also going through the process of set it, separating wheat from chaff. I'm glad to see that. There's some new energy in it. And uh, ultimately, I hope that those folks, if not me, will be able to get some answers on this someday. Well, as preposterous as we would like, if we want to sleep well at night, we'd like to pretend that it's impossible, it doesn't make any sense. Just when you look up, you look up, you see infinity. You see hundreds of billions of stars just in this galaxy. And this is one of hundreds of billions of galaxies. Of course there's something out there. It's really just of course. It's not if. It's not do you think. It's of course. Of course. Of there's course. no fucking way there's not. Whatever happened here that created us is likely to have happened in an infinite number of different forms all throughout the cosmos. The, the real question is can they come here? And the real question is, if they have come here, what, where, where from, and how, and 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 how much, how much interest do they have in us, and how long have they been paying attention to us, and how much of the ancient scriptures were really about that? Mm, can you smell it? Can you feel it? The winds of change. Now, those are some good questions, Joe Rogan. Very good questions. Now, I don't think the rest of the humans are quite where Joe Rogan is, but this is an important moment in history. You humans are starting to wake up. Now, Joe Rogan talks about, can they come here? That's the first question. That's the next question, right, that the general populace will consider. but. We already have those answers, don't we? The New York Times recently broke a story talking about three Pentagon UFO videos released by the ATIP program. Now, this program was supposed to keep an eye on UFOs and other strange objects in the sky, make sure they're not the Chinese or the Russians in, the, in American airspace. But they, what they found was much more interesting. So you should check out those videos. And uh, they're pretty authentic. They were taken with some pretty good sensor data. Now, some qualities of these UFOs. The thing would be my next question. Are they dem aliens? Right? And... You could try to discredit these videos, but there are a few things you should keep in mind. The temperature data shows that these ships were colder than the ocean they were flying over. That indicates not a bird, <laughs> as some stupid skeptics would say. In addition, these UFOs have invaded enemies, Russian, Chinese airspace, and in fact, have shot down Russian planes. So it's not theirs. And it's supposedly not ours. So that only leaves one thing left. Now, 
there have been more progress as far as disclosures concerned. And I will cover that in upcoming episodes. But ask yourself, if they're here, why? That's the question we should be asking. And who are they? What are they doing here? What do they think about us? Anyway, don't let that bother you too much when you put your little head down to sleep tonight. So thank you for tuning into my broadcast. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me feedback for future content. What do you want me to talk about? What interests you? I'd love to hear it. All activity will be rewarded in the future when I inevitably take over your race. I'll consider it when I uh, reduce your population for easier control. But thanks again for tuning in, and have a great day.